Hi everyone, hope we're having a wonderful weekend and hopefully we had a good week and now we're getting ready to start this upcoming week and unfortunately it really doesn't look um, all that pleasant out for most of us unfortunately. I hate to be the uh, person to tell you that but I'll just let you know ahead of time. It's going to be kind of a uh, dreary cold weekend especially for late April standards. In fact, we've already got the risk of some of those crops being harmed overnight tonight for sections of the country so I'll show you who tonight might have those problems and who might get close to freezing because uh, that freezing line is going to get relatively far south tonight so we're definitely going to want to watch out for that and then of course we're going to discuss this rain and these cold temperatures on the way through the rest of this week and we'll talk about another potent cold front that will eventually work through the country this week and that'll really bring in those uh, very well below average temperatures in that six to ten day time period so uh, that's the plan for today's video if you have any questions that I don't answer feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll uh, make sure to get back to you as soon as I can with those answers. Also, if you're new here and you haven't already subscribed, definitely consider doing so. And if you like the video, also go ahead and hit that like button. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get into your forecast. So we'll start here by looking at radar, and you can tell uh, it's kind of a bit of a mixed bag out there depending on where you're at. If you're kind of here in the southeast from Virginia down to Georgia and Florida, we've had a really nice Sunday, really. Uh, but on both the other sides of uh, those regions, we have some rain down here near the Gulf throughout much of Houston, uh, much of the Texas Gulf Coast, Louisiana, and even into Mississippi. And then very kind of just cloudy, rainy conditions up through the northeast and midwest this afternoon we've also been dealing with. And then you can all see that very well on satellite here. There's a pretty potent system in the Gulf here, uh, really helping to bring a lot of these showers and storms to the sections of the western Gulf Coast. And then also dealing with, again, just this very cloudy kind of uh, dreary weather up here into the Midwest and Northeast. But again, as I said, kind of places in between these two disturbances this has been a really nice uh, Sunday for uh, most of those big cities like Charlotte, Atlanta, Columbia, uh, Wilmington, Charleston, and then areas further south into Florida. So looking at tonight, again, it is going to be a cold night for a lot of us, so you're going to want to protect those crops if you're in uh, really any of these kind of blue areas and these kind of darker greens. So uh, places like Nashville, Knoxville, the mountains of North Carolina, definitely having that risk tonight of those crops uh, kind of being harmed. So if you've already planted in a place like Asheville, definitely make sure you are covering those crops tonight. Also up here in Kentucky, uh, Indiana, up through the Midwest, another um, kind of area that you're definitely going to want to protect those crops tonight because we could get right around that freezing mark or maybe even below freezing for some of us. Uh, and of course, that is uh, definitely not good to see whenever we're this late into planting season. We're already getting close to May. Definitely don't want to see that, but it's what we're dealing with. So uh, just make sure that you are prepared for that. Luckily, uh, in terms of pleasantness, at least tomorrow does look to rebound relatively nicely for most of us, especially east and south of the Appalachian chain tomorrow, uh, getting back up into the 60s and 70s. But it will be a cooler day throughout the Midwest and the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys, uh, where we're stuck more into the 50s and 60s tomorrow afternoon. So now kind of bringing this ahead into this week, again, right now we are dealing with this kind of disturbance in the Gulf. Luckily, that shouldn't cause too many problems uh, after, you know, it kind of moves out. Uh, but we do also have these areas of showers up into the northeast and even some snow showers up into the Midwest continuing into tomorrow afternoon before finally beginning to kind of fizzle out a little bit after that. Another thing I do want to mention about this Gulf disturbance is, uh, although we'll be moving offshore tonight, it could impact areas of southern Florida going into tomorrow and tomorrow evening with some increased uh, shower activity. But uh, really, again, tomorrow's going to be one of those days where if you're up in the northeast, uh, definitely some still showers and kind of dreary weather unfolding there. <clears throat> Uh, and then, uh, again, maybe some showers in Florida, but areas in between again tomorrow don't look too bad. So uh, from Virginia down here through much of the southeast looks relatively pleasant tomorrow. Uh, unfortunately, though, again, if you're up here in the Midwest or Northeast, still dealing with those showers and cloudy conditions. Now, unfortunately, if you're in those areas that are nicer tomorrow, don't get too used to it because by the time we get into Wednesday afternoon, uh, that is going to quickly change. So again, Tuesday will be a lot like Monday, I think, other than some increasing rain out here into the plains on Tuesday. But Wednesday is whenever really the majority of us really get in on that kind of uh, cooler, wetter action, uh, if that's how you want to describe it. But again, this is radar kind of for Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, widespread showers here through the southern tier of the country from Oklahoma all the way over to the Carolina coast. Uh, and all points in between dealing with kind of just clouds, on and off showers, and just below average temperatures. And that looks to continue into Thursday again, especially areas into the southeast. 
uh, and even into potentially Friday afternoon before I think going into this weekend we get a more robust system to kind of work its way into the country. And we'll have to watch for that as that unfolds. And uh, going into the coming weekend, this looks to potentially be able to um, kind of ramp up enough that maybe we will be dealing with some severe weather out of this thing into the southern tier of the country, especially into the southeast going into the second half of this weekend. Uh, so we'll definitely watch for that severe weather threat. But now until then, really looks relatively quiet in terms of any kind of big time severe weather uh, for much of the lower 48 and after this uh, kind of more potent system moves through this weekend through the East Coast, that's going to bring more of um, kind of heavy defined rain through sections of the East Coast. But after it sweeps on through, we're going to have uh, some kind of a pretty big time cool down, I think, for a lot of us here in the eastern half of the country going into the start of the following work week. So taking a look at these temperatures, this is for this week. You can see that blue really sticking around, including... Um, you know, those below average temperatures really just hanging around. This is now all the way through Friday. You can see uh, those below average temperatures continue to hang around, although maybe moderating as we get a little bit later into the work week. But what you'll notice is we have this reinforcement of cold air behind that going into this weekend, behind that other cold front that will move on through. And that is really going to bring those below average temperatures into the picture going into the start of the following work week. So uh, this is anywhere from 15 to uh, 20, 25 degrees below what we should be this time of year uh, for sections of the Midwest and East. So, you know, as we get into early May, if you're normally hovering around 80, 85, you're going to be more like 60 to 65. So not really the nicest weather. I know as we get into May, a lot of us are kind of ready to uh, kind of jump into the pool and start those summer activities. But unfortunately, uh, this year, it looks like we might have to hold on a little bit longer until uh, maybe later on into May, we can bring back those warmer temperatures. So the other big time story out of this is going to be all of this rain, especially here kind of uh, south of the Ohio River down through much of Tennessee, the Carolinas, Alabama, Mississippi, Arkansas, Oklahoma, eastern Texas, uh, Louisiana. A lot of those places going to get one to three inches of rain out of this from now through this coming Sunday. So again, all this won't come at once, but this will come in waves. So although we likely won't have too much of a flooding issue just because I don't expect, again, most of this to fall very quickly in one period of time, uh, this is going to begin to accumulate throughout the week as we get continual showers uh, to work on through the country. Then, of course, those temperatures, this is for the 6 to 10 day time period. So this is going later into this weekend into early next week. And again, this really just shows uh, how confident we are in that below average uh, temperatures to work their way into the country uh, going into the start of the following work week. So again, this isn't for tomorrow, but for the next uh, Monday, uh, expecting those very below or very high likelihood, I should say, of below average temperatures for the eastern half of the country, uh, specifically east of the Rockies. So that's all I've got for today. Again, just to summarize, we've got a very kind of cloudy, dreary, rainy week ahead, and that is eventually going to lead to a big time cool down going into later this weekend and into the following work week. So again, if there's any questions maybe I didn't answer in this video, because I know this was kind of just a surface level video and I didn't, uh, didn't go too in depth with any specific region, but uh, luckily the pattern just really isn't um, that dangerous, I guess, to put it. So we don't have really any kind of big time severe weather that I can see within the next uh, five days. So you know, I try to make these videos a little bit shorter if there's not too much uh, to talk about. But again, if there's a question I didn't, excuse me, if there's a question I didn't answer, let me not get ahead of myself. Um, make sure to definitely ask me in the comments. But with all that said, I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Uh, and if the weather's nice, get out there, enjoy it, and I will see you all tomorrow.